Malachi chapter 4. <clears throat> For behold, the day cometh shall burn as an oven. And it's not like your oven you have in the kitchen today. It's, you know, the big units and they're fire in the inside. And all the proud. And that seems to be the great thing. More and more. Pride, proud, and now involves the sodomites. You know, if they don't repent and get right, they're going to get flames. They're going to get fire. That includes you know, the pride of football. That includes the, the pride of, of being what nationality. That includes what pride, what country. I mean, pride of what place you were. It, it's... It's disgusting to hear a, a preacher get up and, I'm proud of my church. It's disgusting to hear a Christian, well, I'm proud of our pastor. I'm proud of my children. And the Bible is against pride. There's not one good pride. You know, and I've done it. You can do a complete study of the word fool. And, you know, the foolish. And you can go through the whole entire Bible about the foolish, the fool. And you'll find two or three places where it's a good Bible has something good to say about it. You can't find anywhere. The Bible calls Satan a lion. Well, you know what you know what, and we have the devils. You know what you know what a pack of lions is called? It's called a pride. Yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Now we're going. To look, we're looking at the second advent. Realize the pride and the wicked will be stubble. That's one of the Christian losses. At the judgment seat of Christ. Wood, hay, or stubble is burnt up, is ash. You don't get no reward for it at all. It was for self. It was for your job. It wasn't for Jesus. You're not looking at wood. A lot of things you can do with wood. You would throw wood into an oven. You're not looking at hay, stubble. Doesn't even have a, a really a good use. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. The day, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. In other words, when the proud and the wicked are destroyed. You can destroy a wicked man or woman. And they could have a child grow up to be wicked or wicked is. Not here. Not now. But unto you that fear my name. Shall the Son, capital S, of righteousness, and that's Jesus. You see, when, when you go to the, the beach, you lay half naked or naked, some beaches, and who knows today, you lay out in front of the S-O-N, small. Paul said, I've seen a light that is greater than a new day sun. New Jerusalem said, there will be no need for the sun and the moon and the stars. The light of God and Jesus will light in that place. The sun gives light. I, you can look at the internet. There will be pictures of people taking captives or people put into an insane asylum. And, and, and they're just kept in the dark. And it's not healthy for the body. You need food, water, air, 
and light to live. Arise with healing in his wings. And for the nation of Israel, I mean, they've been broken. They've been sore. They've been terrorized. They're hungry, beaten, almost like what Paul was. Paul is almost like a, a, a type of, of Jew in the tribulation. Ye shall go forth. Ye shall go forth. Not the sun. Ye shall go forth. Second Advent, when we pick up those Jews and we bring them, they're going to go forth. Like they went forth with Moses. So that's interesting. Well, listen. And grow up as a calves of the stall. Now what's that calves of the stall growing up in the stall? The stall is where you kept them. The stall is where they were fed. The stall is a protection. Not many wild animals are going to get that calf in the stall. In the stall, that calf is almost guaranteed to be taken by a good good uh, uh, owner and God, the greatest owners, he's going to get his feet. Knows where that calf is. <clears throat> and ye, ye, ye shall tread down the wicked. So when Jesus Christ stomps him with his, with his horse, and he will, when the Christians are stomping on them, and we will, Israel is going to get their chance to stomp on them. Now I told you, the wicked, when you look at the wicked, when you take, I guess what Thessalonians it is, that's almost pointing primary to the Antichrist. And the doom of the Antichrist will be the curse that he put upon Israel and God's people, the curse will be returned to him. Well, what's the worst thing that could, could be done to is have the Jew take the vengeance by God's glory. Can you imagine, I don't think Adolf Hitler got saved, but I don't know. Can you imagine Adolf Hitler going to a Satan's hell? And the Bible does say there are different levels of hell. Can you imagine Adolf Hitler's torment and misery that he is put in the same area of all the Jews that died without Christ from World War II? Can you imagine a man with all those Jewish mothers? He didn't mess with the Jewish mothers. Even the mafia didn't. The mafia didn't mess with the Jewish or the Polish mothers. Can you imagine somebody like that going to hell with those? those? That'd be almost like the, the Pope put in the midst of hell with all the Catholics that are in hell. For they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. So all those that oppressed the Jews in the tribulation, the Jacob's trouble, the Jews is going to walk right over. And they're going to spoil them, we've read in other chapters. And to the Jews, why we know this is the Jews? Because he said, remember the law of Moses. That's Jewish. We have Jesus, the Son of Righteousness. Now we have Moses, my servant. Now, God could have said, remember the law. And for the Jew, okay, we know the law. We know where it came from. Didn't have to put Moses in there. Which I command unto him in horror for all Israel. And that goes back to Exodus 20, 21. The 80 days and 80 nights that Moses spent total in the, in the, in the mountain. 
with the tablets of stone written by the finger of God. And that brings a lot of history for the Jews. Because in between those times, there was a golden calf. That here's the mountain, it's on fire, and it's burning, and there's fear. Moses comes down the second time, his face is lit up. With the statutes and judgments, that would be Leviticus, that would be Deuteronomy, Numbers mentioned. Behold, I will send you Elijah. So we got Jesus, verse 2. We got Moses, verse 4. And we got Elijah, verse 5. And Zachariah says you got these two characters, olive leaves, I believe it was. You got two characters in the tribulation causing water to turn to blood and, and no rain. And you close the King James Bible of the Old Testament. We're closing the Old Testament today. Unless the Lord comes, and he could. We're closing it on Jesus, on Moses, and Elijah. But that does not close for Jacob, the children of Israel, because these two men are going to show up in the tribulation period, and they're going to be killed by the by the beast, the Antichrist. And at the end of the seven years, Jesus is going to come. And he says, I will send you Elisha, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Now that would have been, we'll be coming up to the gospel pretty soon. I don't know how far we're going to get. It'll be coming up to a man named John the Baptist. And at one point in time, the disciple is going to ask John, uh, ask Jesus, uh, doesn't the scripture say Elijah is supposed to come before you? Here it is. The disciples remember uh, Malachi. Wait a minute, before you were supposed to come, Jesus, Elijah was supposed to show up. He did. But since the nation of Israel has rejected me, he, he stayed and remained John the Baptist. And he Suffered death by being beheaded. And before the Lord came, not what we're talking right now, but before Jesus went to the cross, he's up on a mountain and Moses and Elijah shows up. And Peter knew exactly who they, who they were. And Moses and Elijah start speaking to Jesus about the law and about the prophets, make sure everything has been fulfilled. Before Jesus goes on that cross, say, it is finished. Because Moses even wrote, he even said, the Bible says that Moses wrote of Jesus. Jesus said, search the scriptures, for in them is me. I will send Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. I, I, I had somebody one time... I'm waiting for the Lord. Can't wait for the day's Lord. And they got the rapture. And the second advent confused. And many Christians do. Thanks to the teachings of their church. Thanks for them for not reading their own Bibles and studying. And not rightly. See, study to show thyself a proof unto God, a workman that needs not to be shamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. You're going to build an ark in, in America. Um. Book, chapter, and verse, please. They even got Noah's Ark too, and if they haven't already, they want to. They're going to sail this thing around the world. So what? That's supposed to build my faith. What about the Titanic? Ark 2, Ark 3, Ark... You know, and they call it the Ark 2 
What about the one that's in America? What about the one that was in the Bible? So somewhere along the line, you can't count. And they they thought that the, the day of the Lord is the rapture when it's like, eh, I had to correct them. And, and again, one of the prophets said, you know, woe unto you to desire the day of the Lord. And I read that to him. It's a, it's a dark and gloomy day. That's not the rapture. When the Lord Jesus Christ mounts up on the horse and comes back as a lion, a tribe of, of Judah, there is no light, there is no moon, there is no stars. The Bible says they've been put out. And all Satan is on the earth. I'm not going to say all earth, all hell is on earth. All Satan is on earth for seven years. And there are wars and there are beasts and there are tragedies and there is just aha. And what's the great day of the Lord is here he is. He's come for Israel. What's the dreadful part? All the heathen, all those that are against God, is the enemy of God, and they got their little knick-knack patty wax wrapping around their necks and, and holding it on to, and they're throwing it to the bats and to the moles, and oh, and that mountains fall on us, hide us from that great light, hide us from God. Imagine a Catholic with his knick-knack patty wax and give the dog a bone and all that. Imagine him taking his relic, his aids of worship, and trying to hide them from Jesus. That'd be a joke that Satan has played on the religion. You've been worshiping all these things and all that year. The Baptist would be like, it ain't Christmas, his birthday he's come. You mean by Baptist? You think every Baptist is going to go up in a rapture? You're full. He ain't going to come back on Easter. I guarantee, I guarantee. God will not come back. God will not honor a heathen holiday. And for those watching this video right now, and you have survived another kind of quote unquote end of the world. I think it was last Saturday, the Saturday before that, the entire world was supposed to be something, and the, and the, the Newton Minger dead people, whatever. I don't know. We we're supposed to die. Well, now that the, the Day of Atonement is happening, you know, we were supposed to go to rapture in the Day of Atonement. Well, the Day of Atonement's come and gone. You're only missing people, and I don't want to be cruel, but you know, those who have died in the hurricane here that came in Florida, but that's not that's not the rapture. Well, somebody will probably try to make, you know, the great wings or whatever. It's great for the nation of Israel and those who will have some faith in Jesus and be dreadful to the enemies of God. He, Elijah, in the tribulation period, shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. And the heart of the children to the Father. So when you think all the world is having Merry Christmas because these two prophets are dead. And they're celebrating because of the death. They're having Christmas and Easter on one day over Moses and Elijah, not Jesus. We read that when Elijah comes, we read that there will be some kind of revival. And don't forget, there's 144,000. They're not Jehovah Witnesses because Jehovah Witnesses are over a million. They got that Catholic math, uh, math that the Baptist and, and the Baptist uh, uh, a wife of a man I won't even call a pastor. She come up to me, you oh, know, this is Good Friday, and Jesus is going to rise on the Easter Sunday. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. What is your husband doing in a pulpit? Uh, yeah, I, I know now. Nothing.
But we see here in Malachi 4, 6, there are some Jews out of tribulation period, they're going to get Elisha's message. There are many that say that, that God is all finished with the Jews totally. No. And the heart of the children to their fathers. And if that wasn't so, at least I come and smite the earth with a curse. If, if the Jews were all done, and totally against God, God said, I'll smite him with a curse. If it wasn't for the preaching of Elijah and Moses in the 144,000, of all the evil and all the wickedness on the earth in seven years, three and a half last year, it's going to be so bad, God says, oh, listen, I'll curse it. If it wasn't for Moses, I mean, excuse me, Elijah. Elijah. Now, curse ends the King James Bible. And the King James Bible is in an order that is different from the Hebrew Bible. And if you were to get a Hebrew Bible and go to 2 Chronicles 36, 2 Chronicles is the last book they got laid out different from us, but the same book. Second Chronicles, I believe they call it Chronicles. It's one and two together. Second Chronicles 36, 23 would end the Hebrew Bible. And they're both proper. So it does save the does save king of yeah, Cyrus the king of Persia. All the kingdoms of the earth has the Lord God of heaven given to me. That sounds like Jesus. And he has charged me to build a house in Jerusalem. That sounds like Jesus. Which is in Judah. Who is there among you, Jews, of all his people, Jews, the Lord his God be with him, the Jews, let him go up. The last words in the Hebrew Bible is not with a curse. It's get back to Jerusalem and build. That's when it happened the second advent. If God was all finished with the Jews, there was no more love for the Jews replacement theology. The result of the end of Jacob's trouble would be personal. What hope would there be?